2023 McLaren Artura First Drive, a work in progress. It's been a long time coming, the 2023 McLaren Artura. We received our first in-depth look at the Artura, only the second all-new car in McLaren Automotive's 12-year history, in February 2021. We'd typically be invited to get behind the wheel to record our first drive impressions within two or three months of such a detailed tech preview. With the Artura, though, McLaren took the better part of a year and a half to make it happen. Worth the wait. What is it? The 2023 McLaren Artura debuts a new vehicle architecture and a new plug-in hybrid powertrain designed to take McLaren into the next decade. But in many ways the Artura is evolutionary, not revolutionary. At first glance the 2023 Artura looks exactly like what you expect a new McLaren to look like. But closer inspection reveals a carefully nuanced evolution of McLaren design themes rather than a cut and paste of familiar graphics, combined with careful attention to aerodynamic detail. For example, the vents near the front wheels direct turbulent air downward from the wheel wells so it doesn't disturb the airflow into the engine intake vent at the rear. Additionally, what looks like a simple styling line on the door channels air from the front of the car along the sills and into the rear cooling radiators. In the metal the Artura looks tighter, more sophisticated, more composed than any previous McLaren, with well-controlled surfaces, crisper detailing, and snugger panel gaps. The doors, rear clamshell, roof, and a pillar are all superformed aluminum pieces. The hood is a conventional aluminum stamping, and the front and rear quarter panels are made from composites. At 178.7 inches, the Artura is 0.4 inch longer overall than a McLaren 570S, but its 1.2 inch shorter wheelbase delivers a subtly different proportion. The suspension is all new, too. Gone is the hydraulically cross-linked system used in the 720S, itself an evolution of the setup used on the original McLaren Automotive MP4-12C. In its place is a more conventional multi-link setup front and rear, with adaptive dampers that can switch between comfort, sport, and track modes. The rear suspension assembly is twice as stiff as the 720S setup and has been designed to deliver improved traction. Tech Talk and Cyber Tires, the 2023 McLaren Artura is also the company's first vehicle fitted with an e-differential. Another first, a world first, in fact, is the standard fitment of Pirelli's P0 Cyber Tire, which features an embedded chip that feeds real-time data into the Artura's electronic brain. The technology enables the Artura to know which tires are fitted. Grippier P0 Corsa Cyber tires are available as an option, as is a winter tire, and thus allows it to show you whether the tires are above or below their ideal operating temperature. What makes the Cyber tire system clever is that it provides the temperature readings directly from the tire itself rather than the common industry practice of taking the temperature from the wheel rim. In track mode you can set the system to warn you when the tires have exceeded a particular temperature threshold. Speaking of wheels, the 2023 McLaren Artura rolls on 19-inch front and 20-inch rear forged pieces, with 235-35 R19 and 295-35 R20 Pirelli tires. Lurking behind the wheels are standard carbon ceramic disc brakes, 15.4 inches on the front axle and 15.0 on the rear, clamped by 6-piston and 4-piston forged monoblock calipers, respectively. The Artura's carbon fiber chassis structure is manufactured at McLaren Composites Technology Center in Sheffield, UK, 175 miles north of McLaren HQ in Woking, where the car's final assembly occurs. It's a lighter, stronger, and stiffer structure than that used in the 720S or 570S, and, crucially, it has been designed to ensure ideal placement of the battery pack required for the plug-in hybrid powertrain. Power Games, the internal combustion component of that powertrain is a 577 HP, 431 pound featuring 3.0 light twin turbo V6 built by British engineering company Ricardo. Codenamed M630, it features a 120 degree V like the twin turbo V6 in the PHEV Ferrari 296 GTB which not only allows more room for packaging the two turbos in the V between the cylinder heads but also lowers the Artura's center of gravity. 
The 353-pound M630 engine is 7.5 inches shorter, 8.7 inches narrower, and 110 pounds lighter than the 4.0-liter M840 V8 that powers the McLaren 720S. The hybrid bit comes courtesy of an axial flux motor mounted between the engine and a new 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. Powered by a 7.4-kWh battery that weighs just 194 pounds and is bolted under the fuel tank at the center of the car, the 34-pound motor adds 94 horsepower and 166 pound-feet to bring the powertrain's total system output to a healthy 671 horsepower at 7,500 revolutions per minute and 531 pound-feet of torque from 2,250 to 7,000 revolutions per minute. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.